Hello friend. In this video, I'll teach you how you can get the input from Radio Button Group and from Combo Box. So follow me. The trick is little tricky, but if you absorb carefully, all the step you will know. Okay. Now getting an input from Radio Button is different, like what you know, not like uh, getting input from text field or from text area. Okay. In this uh, time, you just take a let. This is a uh, suppose a uh, male and female and other. Let in case like that. Okay. Let's suppose uh, this is for female and this is for other. Okay. Let rename this is male edit text m a l e male and this uh, female and this is for order order okay now let me increase the size let me control and mark them all and right click properties and let me select this um background color let me select it blue this white itself okay i mean for this four color let me select it blue okay then let's select the size a font size let's select it 14 and click ok and let's select it a font also let's select it bold and okay so you see here now male and female now if you run this form let me try to run this form you'll see what happened okay not if i click this male okay and but in real time when i click this female so this male it will not take okay it will leave this male and take this female and if i click other so you see here all of this is selected so we don't want like this we want if it female then it will take only female if it uh, male it will take only male okay in that way we'll do okay how we can do that now let's go back to the design form and here what you need to do you need to take this a uh, button group okay take this uh, button group and drag it here once you drag here you will not see anything on this design form but absorb carefully when you look on your left side at the bottom of your left side you'll see this form button group you'll find here other component so in this you'll find this button group one if you want to rename you can rename if you don't want also fine but we need to create a variable for this uh, button group that is the main case okay uh, don't remember uh, don't forget that now change variable name it means gender gen Duh. now what we need we need to bind all these three radio button to this uh, gender button group okay how to bind just click on this uh, mail button and look on the properties or you can right click here properties then you will find here uh, button group you will find here button group and then select it in this in this none select it gender because we already named this a uh, gender okay we already named this uh, button group is agenda a uh, variable name what i mean okay now what you need to do all these three also you need to do the same i'll mark them both click properties i'll select this gender all of them now let's try to run now you'll see the different it will not select uh, it is select only one when i think male tick female you'll see it leave this uh, point to point right now to get this uh, input is different like i said okay we need to do a lengthy process little bit okay now what you need to do let me put a variable name for this this is mean this gmail okay it means gender male and g order g order uh, okay now okay now all of this having the, their own variable so now what is the last step we need to do now let mark the mark one you cannot mark one by one you can do it i mean you cannot mark all of three you can do one by one right click on this mail go back to properties or you can check on your left side also you'll find this properties and here you'll find a binding okay click on this binding option so in this binding you'll find this action command click on this action command this uh, binding source you'll see not bound now click here then you'll find this variable name g 
mail so our first button is gmail and select gmail now the second option here binding expression is null now you need to select this action command java lang string select this one and click ok now after that we need to do the same for female right click go to prop now in this uh, binding click this action command and this also will do the same we select g order and we'll bind this action jawala and click ok okay don't forget this binding we need to bind with action command close now we finish this one now we need to get this input from this three button so how we can do this let me take one text one level here okay and it will display on this level let me remove this j level and put a variable name here this is output okay this is output so now i'll take one button okay let me take one button this is a submit button suppose okay and let's change the variable of this okay let's change the variable name as you submit and now now we finish now you need to double click on this submit button you will find this submit action here so uh, add your handling code here so what we need to do is very simple just write it a string gender uh, gender variable is already there let's in case string and uh, string my gender okay you can write like this. this is just a variable name you can write your own variable so or string g also it's easy you write string g now our variable this uh, other component this all this button group is gender so this gender done this gender done um, okay this gender you will find me not why is not selected why is not work let me check for design Oh, this is a uh, capital G that's why is not working so we can change it uh, smaller G then well, let, let go back to our code you'll find when we write gender okay then it uh, green now now what you need to do you need to get a uh, call is a uh, selected 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 item okay uh, get selected get selection dot dot action command just like this okay just like this so from where this gender came like text field from text field it came but in this case this gender it came from this uh, gender group button this variable name if you right click here you'll find this gender it will not come from here but this we already bind with this other component okay now let's go back to the source code and let uh, print the output now let me write this output dot set text okay dot set text and let print let call this g now is g is automatic k now let me run now what happened when i run you see the when i click this mail if i click submit this mail is print here okay let me increase the size of this output okay let me go to properties and let me put also with a color is red here you can see properly and this um font also let's select this 18 okay close now when i run this form when i run this form so when i click this order so it will print order here you'll see this order is getting here now lastly what i mean to teach you this getting an input from combo box okay how to use combo box like we put a list okay a list of year or a list okay let's take one combo box here let enlarge this combo box and right click on this and what you need to do here check this model is here on this model you'll see this item one item two item three item four but now we'll remove let's suppose this is year 2000 2000 and year 
2001 year 2002 year 2003 if you want to put a list and you can put more also okay now just click ok now let put a variable for this this is so easy and let get this is yeah let me put this variable yeah now let go to code now this gender is already there and this we need to write string um string y it mean yeah equal now y e a i yeah done now get selection get selection get selection item okay get selection item done to string okay to string now hit okay now control s now let uh, put them all the input here okay let me control s and run this time you'll see we got all the input we passed from design okay now you see this female and let me select this uh, 2003 and let me select female let press submit you see female year is 2003 just like this you can get an input from this uh, radio button group and combo box i hope this video will help you if you like this video don't forget to hit a like button and share to your friends thank you